Welcome back, my fellow Dubuquins, to Oxygen Not Included. So, in the last episode here, we built up this shine bug reactor. And as you can see, we have trapped many, many little shine bugs inside of here, and we're starting to get some decent power out of this. One of the good questions that kind of popped up yesterday is, can we tune up these solar panels? As we can see here, we do have a power control station. We are building up some microchips, but I don't see any of these being tuned up just yet. The other good question that kind of popped up is, can we tune up the solar panel from the bottom side or do they need to tune up from the top side so i'm going to try to observe this just to give us a good uh, answer here val has unfortunately been cooked a little bit where are you going bud we do have a small pile of microchips here so hmm we'll just have to see to keep an eye on that Anyhow, the plan for today's video is is, is, a, is a big one, but it's going to happen in multiple stages. So looking at this space base here, essentially what I want to do is make this livable. So we're going to have oxygen inside of here, and we're also going to have jet suits that allow us to go and build things uh, like rockets and things up near the top of the base. So there's a couple things that we need here. Uh, one, this needs to be cool, which we already have some cooling capacity that's running through here, which is this hydrogen. Unfortunately, that hydrogen is not being used for power right now, so it's just kind of being wasted. It's not a lot of power though. It's not a lot of hydrogen either. But you can see that the temperature has dropped down fairly reasonably over here. That's already down to 67 degrees Celsius. So give this a few more cycles and it should cool down to a reasonable level so that when we add oxygen inside of here, it's not going to be too hot. However, some of this stuff back here is kind of hot. So I don't know, maybe it'll be about 60 degrees Celsius for a little while. The point is the problem with the heat is being solved. So that first little stage here is, is working out. The next thing here is I want to build the jet suits. The reason I want to build the jet suits is because I want to have those in place so that when I go to reconstruct these bunker tiles, they can be up near the top of the map and I can build all the stuff that I need to build there. Uh, tapping into this, if I were to get some power out of this hot regolith right now, would just be a waste because I'm just going to move those bunker tiles in the future. But ultimately, I want to build up a system here that's going to, uh, one, protect my base, from damage so for that i need to build up some bunker tiles right uh, sorry bunker doors i need to build the bunker doors and then when the asteroid storms are not running it opens up lets the regolith through we capture that thermal energy and turn it into power so that we can make use of that and then we sweep away the excess regolith and feed it to the shovels farms down here now these shovel farms, uh, the shovels did actually find a way to get off the center tile here and and what it's happening because uh, I looked at it the other day, is when they kick out some of their material over here on the side, they can kind of crawl on top of that, and then once it moves out of the way, they fall down. So that's kind of what is happening here. But they can't escape from this area because it's surrounded by a abyss light. So I guess it works out, but I might want to reconfigure this a little bit here. Anyhow, ultimately that all ends up as food and power, and that's what we're getting out of Regolith. And maybe some filtration medium, but it's... Uh, it's not like I'm lacking any of that. The other things I want to build up here, obviously I want to build up some space scanners. Those are so fun to work with. <laughs> and uh, a telescope as well so that I can really look at the star map. So it's a multi-phase process. We're going to make as, as much progress on that here over the next couple of days as possible. Okay, so one of the cool things I have going on here with my cosmetic mods is that I can build mosaic tiles. So as I build out this space base, it can almost look like it was in initially designed by the Gravitas space here, or whoever these people are. So that's going to look really, really cool. I'm excited about that. The other thing is there's a mod that allows us to change the color of drywall, just like we're doing with the wallpaper down here. So you can make it even more fancy. I'm definitely going to install that. I'll be right back. Okay, so this mod is called Paint Walls. That's it. Yeah, you can see here that it's pretty much the same thing as the wallpaper, just with drywalls. Ooh, that looks interesting. And because all of that drywall is obsidian. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the obsidian. I think it's a little bit too dark for this area. Kind of, I like the lighter colors. Dude, I want this door. Can I build this door? Ah, it would be sweet if I could build that door. All right, so let's design something cool. First off, we're just going to delete all of this. We don't need any of this stuff here. Or at least we don't need the background buildings. So have at it, dupes. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so before I go and build all of that, I want to make sure that I have my petroleum running up towards the top of the base. So currently, my petroleum runs over here to the plastic machines. You see that? 
Okay, there we go. So we'll just build yet another great pipeline all the way from the bottom of the base to the top. <laughs> I still haven't turned this thing on just yet. I should. I just haven't. So many things going on. Mm. All right, so there we go. That's a pipe. All right, so there we go. I have a pipeline that's now running all the way from over here up into this area. Nice. New database entry. Let's view that. Ooh, that's a big article. So I was reading this article from the director's desk, and I think it's rather interesting. Let's take a read. Scientists from the recently founded Gravitas facility have unveiled their first technology prototype, dubbed the Temporal Bow, a device which manipulates the fourth dimension to generate infinite clean renewable energy, which sounds really familiar, by the way. They're talking about a shine bug reactor. Well, it may sound like something from science fiction. Nope, just sounds like all of my playthroughs. Facility founder Jacqueline Stearns confirms that it is very much real. Hmm. It has already been demonstrated that Newton's second law of motion can be violated by negative mass superfluids under the correct lab conditions. If the law of motion can be altered, why not the laws of thermodynamics? B what are laws if laws are no longer laws? What is life? What is time? But that was the main intent behind this project. Sorry, I, I added a little bit of embellishment. The temporal bow, <coughs> shine bug reactor, works by rapidly vibrating sections of the fourth dimension to send small quantities of mass forward and backwards in time, generating mass amounts of energy with virtually no waste. The fantastic thing about using the fourth dimension as fuel, says Stern, is that it is really categorically infinite. For those eagerly awaiting the prospect of human time travel, don't get your hopes up just yet. The facility says that although they have successfully transported matter through time, the technology was not expressively developed for the purpose of energy generation and is ill-equipped for human transportation. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. All right, dupes, what are you guys doing? Are you guys just doing nothing? No, you're idle. Who's idle? Get to work, dupes. Look at the shine bug reactor pulling from the fourth dimension down here. Look at that, 122 watts, 124. Why is that a little bit more? Has anything been tuned up? Nope. And there's a boatload of microchips over here. Hmm. Okay, so what in this area can I deconstruct? I can get rid of the windows. Hmm. But the rest of this stuff seems to be like it's just, it's just here. I can't get rid of it. Can't get rid of the broken elevator. <laughs> None of that. It's weird that I can get rid of the window, but not like the chandelier. But then again, what can you expect? It's from the fourth dimension. Mystery juice. All right, well, if I can't move the equipment, gosh, I was gonna use this right here as my staging area for the jet suit dock, but hmm, <laughs> I guess not. I think I might debug it out of the way. Hmm, <laughs> this is taking a long time. Ugh, and I'm, I'm not excited about this equipment not being able to be deconstructed. I ran into the same thing way, way down here, where I just have like random bits of a like table that just, I can't get out of the way. Why that stuff is not able to be deconstructed is beyond me. And you know what? It should be. So, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, because what I wanted to build inside of here was some jet suit docks. There we go. Okay, so the other thing I want to do right here is just put down a transit tube access point. So that, so that will be right here. To do. And then it kind of looks like you go up to the reception desk, you tell them where do you want to go, and then boom, you jump through the access point. We'll go up top here, we'll go through an official looking mechanized airlock, and then. Uh, I'll have to just kind of reconstruct a few of these tiles. Oops, I'm not rebuilding them. I want to build mosaic tiles here and here, which means I can get rid of these tiles. We got some more work to do here. Friday level six. Okay, so how's the shine bug reactor doing? Ooh, not bad, not bad. We're up to 217, then a couple of 141s. Very nice. And if you take a look at the light overlay, you can see just how much light is being given up in that one spot. We're up to. 66,000 lux right now. That'll that'll actually keep going up and up and up. Pretty cool. I like it. 
Ooh, there we go. Jet suit docks. Perfect. So what I want to do on top of that is what I want to do is just use some pneumatic doors right up top here. And, that, and that's what you go through to get out into the space environment. Oh, yeah. And it fits perfectly. Aha! Mm, maybe I'll bump that up just one more. I had this image in my brain of what I wanted to create here, so I'm just trying to make that real. So I'll have some plastic ladders right there. Okay, so for the colored wallpaper here, what I want to use is Mafic Rock, but then I'm going to put a strip here that kind of warns you that you're going to be going out into space. Uh -oh. It might be kind of cool. Let's see what it looks like. So if I make this wallpaper, crap, uh, I can't make the drywall. Hmm, can't make the wallpaper out of that. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to have drywall right down here. That's going to be made out of Mafic. That'll give it a cool looking look. And since this is already exposed to space, I can actually just use wallpaper to make the rest of it look cool. So there we go, a little bit of wallpaper. And what I want to have here is iron. Hmm, I'm going to change this up just a little bit here so then I can put some more fancy light bulbs in there. Although those are going to be exposed to a vacuum, so they might, <laughs> they might just explode. All right, so I think that's off to a good start. Oh yeah, that's going to look cool. I like it. Good job, dupes. All right, so I think we're gonna build the living quarters mm, over here, and then we'll have the utilities and all of the washroom stuff. That'll be over in this area. But I think I'm going to try to keep this main area here, some sort of great hall thing. I kind of like the chandelier, so I'm going to hang on to that, but I don't think I'll keep these little light fixture doodads that are just hanging down. Those will just go away. Now, yes, I am using the debug tools to get rid of this stuff, but I don't know. There's no other way to get rid of it unless there's a mod or something that allows you to deconstruct that. Same with these weird little displays. Like, no, nope, don't need those. I can rebuild them if I want to. Bloop. Okay, the same thing goes for that big statue. We'll just build everything we want inside of here. Since I can actually build all of that stuff using the mod. So it actually costs me money to, to build that stuff. Ooh, maybe I could do a monument in this spot. Ooh, that might be interesting. It's only slightly expensive. Hmm. <laughs> all right, what other furniture do I want to build up in this spot? I think a little chair makes sense. A clock next to this stuff always makes sense. So we'll put some of that right there. Probably throw a landscape painting right down here just to kind of, I don't know, boost morale or something. Does it make sense to do crown molding in a space station? Of course it does. There we go. Then I can put some window tiles right over here made of glass. Very nice. Ooh, but we have drywall, so I have to kind of be careful here. Drywall, I can't just paint over it. I'm just building up ceramic drywall in the back. I know I've deconstructed drywall just to build drywall again. Ugh. But it's all for the perfect look. Okay, so because this is exposed to space up here, because it's just wallpaper, not drywall, I don't have to worry about carbon dioxide building up in that room. So what I can do is I can actually replace that just with mechanized airlocks. That way it looks a little cooler. Plus we'll power it up and everything. So let's see here if we can lay these cables down. I mean, we have all these dupes running around here already, so we might as well. It's so echoey up here. Every time the dupe does something. Who's on fire? Oh, Dr. Eskimo. Yeah, you're supposed to be in a cool environment. Uh-oh. Cramp, what is so hot up here? Oh, that machine is like super hot. Wow, all right. And you know what? I don't think there's a cooling loop. Oh, what? There's a little bit. Okay, I should rework that cooling loop just a little bit to cool that machine down. The rest of this in environment's really not that bad. It's all like 45 degrees Celsius. Does anybody want to help Dr. Eskimo out? Kitty's like, nope, not me. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Well, is what it is. So the base is running well. You can see that we have not too much carbon dioxide over here, which is good. So I guess I don't need to set this up just yet. Everything's keeping up. We've got plenty of petroleum. And I keep amping up the amount of power I have in the base over here with these shine bug reactors, little by little. Although they are not getting tuned up. Ever. So... See, there goes three more eggs. Just like that. I'm running the game at like extra fast, trying to get the stuff done, by the way. So if things look really, really stuttery. That's why. Ooh, some shovel eggs. Excellent. Uh, how did that tile? Oh, no. I, I bet you it's just because I'm running the game extra fast. 
That could explain... Oh, crap. All of this. No, 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 no. Dupes. Quick, quick, quick. Emergency. Uh, mop all of this stuff up. Because right now I have food that is unrefrigerated. A lot of it. Ah. That was a bit of a bummer. I think I lost a couple hundred calories there. So I'm just cranking through as much research as I can get through right now. So solid cargoes, solid fuel combustion, things like that. I have a little extra water down here in, in this little spot right there. So I figure I might as well make use of it. All right, there you go, dupes. You're just about done with one room. Man, this is taking a, an incredible amount of time. Come on, you can do it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm an hour and a half into this, and this is about all I have to show for it. But then again, I guess I am building the liquid pipe here. So if we take a look at the liquid pipe, that's been built up. That actually started from way down here. So they are building some things off screen. I can't run the game at a faster speed because, unfortunately, this thing apparently breaks when I do that. Now, that's mostly because I made it out of mosaic tiles. If I made it out of metal tiles, like I would probably recommend you do, or obsidian or something like that, then I don't think there would be any issues, but yeah. I mean, one of the things you guys always ask for is lo for longer videos, but the thing is more stuff has to happen in order for me to make a longer video, and the game takes a long time to play. I can only, can only do what I can do. Okay, so I noticed something here. The drywall isn't really covering up the wires, which makes me think I probably could just place wallpaper on top of the drywall if I wanted to get the right colors. Which makes me think I may not want to deconstruct all of the all of this stuff over here. That might have all been for nothing, actually. Maybe. No, nope, I can't. That's good. Okay, so I noticed something over here. The wires are not behind drywall. They never actually did cover that up to begin with. But I kind of forgot about that because I'm so used to working with wallpaper now. The other thing is I can't just put wallpaper on top of drywall. That doesn't work. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more mindful of how I'm running the wires here so that they aren't showing up in the background. Not a big deal, just something to be aware of. At first I was like, oh no, can I just put wallpaper on top of drywall? And if I could, then, oh, did I just spend all of this time for nothing? But no, as it turns out, you cannot build wallpaper on top of drywall. So whew, I didn't waste like an hour and a half just building this room. <laughs> Oop, I've run into a problem down here. Way too much chlorine has found its way into this biome over here. So it's actually coming up from this one down here. Whoops, because we keep opening up that door. Poor Drandolf here is having a hard time breathing because everything is covered in chlorine. <laughs> Uh-oh. But that's all right. We'll set up a little vent right here. I think I'm just going to go with a high pressure vent for right now because uh, I definitely need the oxygen. Don't really have any way to scrub away the extra chlorine, though. I do have ways to scrub the carbon dioxide, which I'm doing right here, but the chlorine in this room is kind of a new problem. Poor guy is extra stressed out too, look at him. He's just, he's having a horrible time. Sorry, Drandolf. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> just face plants every time he goes down a ladder. Oh, I mean, you're suffocating, you're sick, and... Apparently, you're constantly hungry, too. There you go. Yeah. Hey, at least we have some oxygen that's flowing into that area now. There you go. That'll be fine. Until your ears explode. <laughs> Sorry, bud. You're not having the best day. Look at this interesting gas arrangement here. We got a little carbon dioxide. Oh, because there's no airflow. Oh, interesting. Hey, what's this room going on? Sorry, bud. We had, I guess I never finished your bathroom, either. There you go. But at least you have a comfy bed. All right, so we're coming up on two hours and we've just about built this little piece of the space station. Wow. All right. <laughs> Nicolo, man, don't work too hard up there. You might just actually do something. Why can't you move? Oh, because somebody took away your ladder. Yeah. That happens, doesn't it? Somebody will, somebody will do it. Meep's on his way. Where'd you go, Meep? Me? Dun, 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 dun. Bam! Look at how fast he's going. Boom! And it's a bad time to fall asleep. Oh, well, Ren's got it. All right, one more jet suit dock right here. And this thing will at least be set up visually. 
All right, so I need to bring petroleum into this spot. So let's just run it right here like this. Mm -hmm. So if we snake it up over here like that, then there we go. We can fill up the jet suits and then we'll probably have a rocket. That'll be over here. We can fill up that rocket after that. And whoever's working on the desk, just don't mind all of the very flammable liquid that's flowing through the window tile. It'll be fine. You can always tell when my impatience is building up because the priorities suddenly end up nine everywhere. I was mostly doing sixes and then I was a seven. Now I'm definitely, yep, nine. Get it done, dupes. I got places to be, things to do, videos to make. All right. So right down here, hmm, I kind of like the idea of building a statue in there. I really, really do. Which means I might actually get rid of the chandelier because it doesn't need, it doesn't really need to be there. Then again, a lot of this stuff doesn't really need to be there. Well, let's start with a fancy bedroom. It's always a good place to start. Hmm, here's what we'll do. Here's a fun idea. Ooh, that might actually be a bad idea. I was going to have like a room exposed to the light of, you know, space, but that would actually wake them up. So it wouldn't be a good idea. Man, who's, Drandolf, you're starving now? That's just cause you have issues with morale. All right, go over here, just eat. Eat some stuff out of the refrigerator, you'll be fine. Avoid the polluted dirt. You don't need to go suck in that oxygen over there. Look, dude, you even have a bathroom in here. Check this out. Boom, washroom, just for you, bud. This personal arcade cabinet, I don't see what your issue is. Look at this, it's beautiful. You even have some oxygen now. At least he's just an ugly crier. It'd be bad if he was like destructive. <laughs> Everybody else is fine. I mean, Kitty's at like 9% because she doesn't really enjoy her life, but everybody else loves it. All right, so let's change it up. The wallpaper in this area is going to be made out of... Mm, epic, I think. Let's, let's put a sample down just to see how it actually looks in game. It should be pretty cool. Put a little fake plant right there. A little landscape painting. Yeah, and I think we moved that clock one tile to the left. Can't build it right there. How about right, right there then? Okay, so for the bedrooms. <laughs> first things first, I want to have a three tile uh, gap between all of this. So we'll just kind of come up three on each spot. And then the furniture inside of there, definitely going to be a comfy, comfy bed. Definitely need one of those. Okay, so the next thing here is I'm going to put this little computer desk. Just so you can kind of look out the window, see the stars. Very nice. What about the furniture we have in here? Mm. You know what? I think we need some windows inside of here. Oh, I can't put them. Darn it. I wish I could put them right behind that, but I can't. Well, if I put a light right there, it shouldn't interrupt the sleep. So that's a good spot for it. Let's see here. What kind of drywall do I want to use in this area? Hmm. <laughs> could make it extra dark, like igneous or granite. I think obsidian is a little too dark, though. I'm checking out what fossil looks like right now. <gasps> Bam, that's it. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? This over here, rather than being wallpaper, could actually be drywall. Although at this point, I really don't want to deconstruct it, just to reconstruct it. It's already taken too long. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Just checking in on the solar panels real quick. Ooh, look at that. 200 watts, 300 down here. Nice. Let's take a look at the colony summary, just see how much power we're using and everything. Well, I've definitely made a whole lot of wallpaper, 4,500 of it. That's kind of impressive. Average power produced. Wow, I'm up to 3,400 kilojoules. Average power wasted. There were several cycles there where I was wasting some power. I think that has to do with the hydrogen. Currently, that is not offloading to the rest of my grid. But you can see right here, this is only about 31 kilojoules. Not too bad. And we're, the critters look like a, well, it looks like the Bitcoin <laughs> price, doesn't it? It's like nothing, nothing, wham! Oh, and then it all goes away. Now it's like, I don't know. Hmm, stress removed. Isn't really showing me any key indicators though. Average work time, 20 some percent. Total work time has gone up, but that's because I have more duplicates. Total travel time has continued to go up. <laughs> But then again, that makes sense because I have more dupes. Average travel time has remained about the same. If anything, it's slightly decreased from where we were right around cycle 200 or so. Slightly. I am consuming 800 kilograms of oxygen each cycle. Numbers are getting big. 
Oh, yeah, that looks cool. I like that. I kind of like that more than all of this stuff, actually. <laughs> oh, well, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So we've got this nice hallway here. Clearly, we should build some sort of fancy marble. Mm hmm. And then a couch. Oh, and a salt lamp to boot. You know it. Oh, the lag of the save. Hmm. Okay, there we go. We need to have a luminous light when people come in. There we go. It needs to be well illuminated. Actually, that should go right there. Man. That is very red, isn't it? Orange, orangish red. All right, so for the lavatory, mm -hmm, we've got ourselves obviously the shower, lavatory, and sink and all of that stuff. However, we're going to double down here and make sure that we have a little arrow plant and then a nice little metal block. Super nice. Then obviously we need some equipment though, so that's just gonna be built right up here. All right, so I've reworked the shovel den down here a little bit. Put a couple of robo miners in. These were on metal, but they were absorbing heat from the abyss light. So I kind of made those overheat. So now they shouldn't overheat. It's like 150 some degrees Celsius, so that's not too bad. There was an interesting comment about potentially cooling using a shovel. That was actually quite interesting because we are bringing in something that is potentially about 270 degrees Celsius. And then when it is excreted or kicked, uh, pooped out by the shovel right there, it comes out at the temperature of the shovel. So I suppose you could also work in reverse. So if you had like a really, really hot shovel, maybe that thing was like at 350 degrees somehow, and then you feed it regolith, you could take it from a low temperature to a high temperature. There's definitely, there's definitely a little something there. So interesting idea. I don't know how practical any of that would be, but mm, something to think about. All right, so the water sieve, that will just go right up here like this. Hmm, I guess it needs to go one tile to the left. Doops, please deconstruct that tile. So if we put that right here, then as the fluid runs out, it will go in right over here. Oh, hang on, we don't wanna actually see the pipes. Okay, then on the way out, we'll just kinda of do this number right here. So this will go down, and that's going to feed out into the loop, like so. But if we have a little extra, we're actually just going to dump it overboard into space like a real astronaut. And which means we're going to liquid cool the water sieve. Maybe a little bit. It should puddle up just a tiny, tiny bit and then, you know, vanish into the stars. The same with all of the polluted oxygen that comes off of this guy. Don't have to worry about that. All right, Randolph, how are you doing down here, bud? Take a look at the oxygen overlay. Ah, good. At least you have oxygen. <laughs> that is a lot of chlorine. Oh, it's only because there's so much carbon dioxide right down here. You know, I could probably open that up. And then at least three kilograms would move into 1.8 to kind of move around. Wow, I keep forgetting to, to construct that. There you go. Keep moving. We'll get there eventually. Good job, Pips. Ooh, look at all that lettuce, too. The main base, everything seems to be doing pretty good. Ooh, hey, 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 don't eat this one up. Come on, what do you, how, how'd you even get down here, dude? Nobody wrangled you? Stop messing up my critter muncher. Well, now it's wrangled underneath a tile. Uh, everything's working fine, nothing to see here. <laughs> Jeez, what? Oh no, iron ore, stupid shovel. Messing everything up. Well, thanks, Dusty Picks. Would you like to finish your job, please? Uh, where'd all my sh Shine bugs go. Don't know, but I'm gonna hatch up a few more. Looks like our food is making recovery. We definitely lost a fair bit there when we had a small problem with a flood right down here. That just kind of hurt, but that's all right. Although I've had plenty of food, but a lot of it is pickled meal. I got 500,000 calories of pickled meal. I'm actually trying to feed it to the, the deuce with the lower morale so that it, yeah, I don't waste it and I don't stress out other dupes in the process. But Gristleberry, that's that's all right. I have plenty of people eating that. Barbecue, we got 60,000. Lettuce is a little bit higher. Why are we not making more stuffed berries? No, because the priority isn't high enough. Uh, what happened to that? The shovel move? Darn it. Now, now get the guy. Get him, dupes. Thank you, Douglas. Perfect. So that's pain in the butt, generation one. I don't know where you're going to end up, but hopefully. Hopefully somewhere else. <laughs> Aha, there we go. 
Delivered pain in the butt. Perfect. All right, let me try to get rid of this high pressure gas vent. Swap it out for a lower pressure one. And hopefully it doesn't just become overpressured and I can't get any oxygen out of it. If it does, then well, I guess maybe I'll put a vent up here, but then the poor guy may not even get oxygen. All right, how are we doing on the space base? Ooh, we've made some good progress. I had to go with Mafic Rock here. I pretty much run out of Igneous. I'd have to go dig up some more of it, surprisingly. Deconstruct these background buildings. No, wrong ones. No, wrong command. There we <laughs> Cancel everything. Okay, thank you. Deconstruct the ladders. Attempt four. All right, so one premium duplicate will live over here in this luxurious space room. This is the room for the duplicate in charge, right over here. My other space duplicates, they'll kind of live right over here. And that way they're close to the jet suit docks, they can go off and do things, or they can pilot a rocket or something like that. So we'll build up some slightly less luxurious apartments over here. You know what? There's some things that are missing. We need to have a recreation room, we need to have a mess hall, and then we can have some apartments as well. There we go. This looks like a fun room. We have an arcade cabinet down here, jukebox on top, next to a window into space. Yeah, I'm all about that. Oh, no, 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 no. Here's what I do. Get rid of the marble block. We don't need that. Nope. See, what I have over here is this little display, and that looks like it's, you know, a little TV. You can actually set that up. So what I'm going to have over here is a couch and then put the display right there. Mmm, extra fancy. Oh wow, I guess I'm out of mafic rock. Let me go ahead and dig some of that up. <laughs> that won't be too hard to get. This drywall is really, really expensive. Like this room right down here is one of the most expensive things I've ever built. At least I think so. Because look at that, it's all this fossil. 400 kilograms per tile. That's all, that, that, <sighs> That breaks down into lime, and lime into steel. Woo! See, look at that. I'm already out of Mavic again. It's awesome, but this is super expensive. All right, there we go. Yes, a couch. We got a little TV that we can watch. Cool. Same sort of thing that's going to happen inside of here. I'll try to set up a couple of spots where you can actually eat, for real. Oh, wait, here, me doing something. Oh, wait, never mind. It's Pancake King. What are you, what are you painting up here? Hmm? Bam. <laughs> what a what a disgusting crude painting. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to redo that one. Oh, okay, just a few more tiles, and I think that'll be it for today. I've been at this for three hours. It takes forever to build this thing. All right, well, I can't build the monument just yet. I just simply don't have enough diamond for the head. So until then, we'll put a placeholder in here, which is the DNA statue, which I had just deconstructed, but this time I'm going to reconstruct it. How expensive is that? Oh, it's 2,000 kilograms. All these duplicates are trying to lay claim to this environment. Look at the decor in this place. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. And then there is one more piece of furniture I wanted to put inside of here. Yes, a water cooler. Made of only the finest materials, granite. And there is something missing inside of here. That would be a light. Hmm. Yeah, it's coming together pretty good. I like this. This is cool. It was a, it's was it been a pain in the butt to build because it's just taken so long, but you know, now that it's actually coming together, this is this is just something I've really looked forward to building for a long time and it's, it's about as, re as rewarding as I was expecting it to be. So that's cool. All right, dupes, sweep it up. And Meep, I think you're going to have to fix this picture because that one's kind of rough. I think I'll have to add on to this a little bit here for the power, because I definitely didn't end up with any power over here. This is just the living quarters. I mean, I think as I build into this, it's actually going to like crawl to the side a little bit. That would be, mm, mm. Okay, don't get too ambitious here. <laughs> a couple of years from now, we'll be on episode 600 and I'm still building this thing. But do take a look at that decor. Mmm, mmm, that is nice. So if we take a look at the room overlay, yes, we have a bedroom, a washroom, just a nothing room, another barracks over here. Ooh, that's because it isn't quite tall enough. At least it's a comfy bed, that's fine though. I do have a little spot for storage. Maybe I'll just expand that up so that it is a bedroom instead of having some storage bins up there. 
We have a humongous recreation room, because you need that. And then a nice great hall down here. Wow, it's even a great hall. All right, cool. You see, the thing is we don't have a nature reserve. This room's 191 tiles. Unless I could find a way to get one to happen inside here. I might be able to get a park in there. That's 64 tiles. That is 84. Okay, one more thing before we go. I want to see these lights turn on. So let's wire this up real quick, dupes. You know what? Crap. There's no lights in this room. That's okay. We can do this. Number salt lamp. Problem solved. Uh, maybe I move. Maybe I just get rid of this fake plant. But every reception room has a fake plant. So you need to have that. All right, maybe I'll just go with the one light bulb. What are the temperatures looking like up here? Oh, not bad, 43 degrees Celsius. Everything's just fine. Nothing, nothing to worry about. All right, I tell you what, rather than, rather than just stopping here, <laughs> even though I should, um, here's what I'm going to do. We're just going to build a little bit of a power station just right down here. So that's where that's going to go. Then we'll put a hydrogen generator down here and some batteries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then most importantly, several transformers. And remember, the most important thing about this base is that it has to look cool. And you know what? So far, I think I've done a pretty good job. It looks cool to me. Yeah, how's this doing up here? Everything's fine in the middle of the base. No problem, steel, thank you. And this little farm has got a long way to Long way to go. Everything over here seems pretty cool. Mm, maybe. I might have some issues here with polluted oxygen. Whatever. Small deal. Ooh, and the shine bug reactor. 220. 340. Woo woo! So much power. Nice. How did Pancake King end up doing artwork over Meep? I don't know, but we definitely have to fix this painting. Hmm. And you know what? Might as well throw an oxygen diffuser up here. Why not? It's not like there's tons of people in this area. It's the good old classic machine, too. Check it out. Let's get her done. Come on. Ladder is going to be nine. There we go. And then we'll do this number because that's always worked out pretty good. Oh, darn it. These drywalls are in the way. I should probably have some lights down here. Help. I can't stop. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do is pipe this hydrogen all the way over here to the generator and just get rid of the rest of these pipes because I don't need those anymore. Just a few more commands, dupes. Just a few more. You'll get there. Don't worry about it. <gasps> Look at that. The lights are on. Nice. Please don't explode. Can we, can we pump it full of some oxygen, please, and just in case things get a little hot? Look at that. We got some salt lamps right there. Those lamps are not working yet. Wait, I didn't mean to get rid of that. No. <gasps> yes, the oxygen's flowing in. Mmm. -hmm -hmm. Cool. Super cool. Why isn't it flowing down? <laughs> what is blocking it? The transit tube, is, is that blocking it? Is it flowing out the window too? That would not be good. Yes, exposed to space. Well then, what kind of window is that? <laughs> um, dupes? All right. For whatever reason, since the oxygen cannot seem to, I don't know, flow into a vacuum. Oh, okay, 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 I see. It's because it can't flow over the one little tile. Got it. Man, if I didn't figure that out, you know how many comments I'd receive? <laughs> Did you forget the one tile behind the thing over here? Oh, that, those are always fun. See, there we go. Now the oxygen's down there at a nice, Hmm, crispy 130 degrees Celsius. Nice, okay. Jeez, hey, how about you just hang, you, you chill out, gold amalgam power transformer. You don't need to overheat that fast. You're only supplying power for a couple of teeny tiny little light bulbs. Oh, and I guess the oxygen diffuser, but. All right, now do I have oxygen in the base? Yes, 1,300, perfect. Uh, except for it flows out up over here a little bit, which isn't really a bad thing. If I were to replace this with something a little different than the carbon dioxide would at least flow out. I might have to put some sort of airlock thing in there. Oh, hey, look, it went to a vacuum. Interesting. Ooh, what does this painting look like? It's a masterpiece. Good job, me. Okay, now if we could just finish up the last few wires here, we'll be just about 
done. I mean, at least for today. I don't quite have the transit tube access hooked up. We still have to do all of that. And uh, we also have to get the oxygen actually piped up to this location so that I can fill up the jet suit docks and whatnot. But I've definitely made a whole lot of progress today uh, as far as actually building this thing up. And I think, I think it looks pretty cool. Meeps are already checking out the water cooler. Mmm, delicious. You know, I might have to operate this on a motion sensor or something like that. Because these lights, otherwise, they're just going to kind of sit here and they're going to heat up. If you take a look at the properties, this thing's already kind of, you know, it's going up. It's 58 degrees Celsius. Unless, of course, we, we are using it enough and the carbon dioxide actually cools it down. But I kind of doubt that. But until then, look at how cool this looks. Sweet. Mm-hmm. I like it, and I hope you guys do as well. Thank you guys for watching. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.